I thought I was alone after losing mom. Then this total stranger saw my ring. Amelia wore a ring, a keepsake from her mother, to a job interview. But the interviewer had a matching one, leading to an unbelievable discovery that changed her life. Hi everyone, welcome to Tales Unveiled. Today, I'm excited to share a new story with you. Let's get started. Amelia's stomach churned with nerves as she prepared for the job interview at the thriving construction company on the other side of town. This wasn't just about landing a position. It was about survival, about finding a foothold after the world had been knocked from under her feet by her mother's passing. Excitement battled with a familiar pang of loss, reminding her that nothing would ever bring her mother back. Still, with her father's quiet strength beside her, she pressed on, determined to build a future worthy of the woman who had shaped her. On the morning of the interview, Amelia looked up at the overcast sky, almost seeking a sign. The world felt a little less vibrant without her mom. Instead of dwelling on the sadness, she straightened her shoulders, remembering the lessons her mother had taught her. Resilience, the quiet strength found in hard work. These memories propelled her to pursue her goals, believing that each step forward was a tribute to the woman who brought her into the world. Amelia woke up extra early that day. Every detail of her appearance had to be just right. She chose to wear the navy suit her mother had expertly sewn for her, simple but impeccably tailored. It was far from fancy, but it held a deeper kind of value, imbued with the warmth of her mother's hands. The position she aimed for was as an office assistant to Mr. Reynolds, the no-nonsense foreman known throughout the company for his efficiency and exacting standards. The job wasn't glamorous, but it promised the stability and structure Amelia craved. Being part of Mr. Reynolds's team was a step towards the responsible, self-sufficient life she desired. Amelia grabbed her bag and headed out. Before leaving, her eyes lingered on the photo of her mother, propped on the side table. Sadness tightened her chest, her eyes falling to her hand. On her finger was a distinctive, well-worn ring, which had belonged to her mother. It was a reminder of family ties she never fully understood. Where there's hope. The inscription on the inside read, a phrase that had always given her a sense of quiet strength. In the waiting room, Amelia found herself surrounded by unfamiliar faces. The other candidates carried themselves with an air of practiced confidence. Portfolios tucked under their arms. Amelia suddenly felt out of place. Everyone seemed to have more experience, a better grasp of the industry jargon that echoed around her. Self-doubt crept in, and an unexpected giggle bubbled up. Laughter in this serious space felt wildly inappropriate. And as the sound escaped her lips, heads swiveled towards her. Embarrassment burned through her, and she hastily buried her face in a company brochure, trying to regain her composure. Her anxiety only increased as one by one, the candidates disappeared behind a heavy door. Each time it swung open, she'd catch a glimpse of the office, the air thick with formality. The mystery of what happened behind that door only intensified her nervousness. When her name was finally called, Amelia's legs nearly buckled. She took a steadying breath and smoothed down the wrinkle-free fabric of her mother's suit, seeking its familiar comfort. Mr. Reynolds's office was a cramped space at the back of a construction trailer. Blueprints spilled over his desk, and a worn, hard hat hung from the back of his chair. He extended his hand in greeting, and Amelia shook it firmly masking her surprise at its roughness. As the interview began, her initial tension eased slightly. Mr. Reynolds was direct, but his questions were fair, and Amelia's honesty seemed to win her points. She talked about her eagerness to learn the ropes, her willingness to start from the bottom, and her strong work ethic. Though she couldn't bluff her way through fancy construction lingo, her sincerity made her stand out from those who tried, the interview was nearing its end when Mr. Reynolds, a man not known for sentimentality, paused. He seemed to be studying her hands. That ring, he began slowly, it looks familiar. Where did you get it? Caught off guard, Amelia explained. It was my mother's. She always wore it and... 
She trailed off, unsure how much to reveal. Mr. Reynolds leaned forward. Mind if I see it closer? Amelia hesitated, then slipped off the ring and handed it to him. He turned it over in his weathered hand, his expression shifting with surprise, then disbelief. From his own pocket, Mr. Reynolds pulled out a worn ring, nearly identical to Amelia's. On the inside, etched in the same distinctive script, was the phrase, There's always light. With trembling hands, he joined the two rings and the inscription, Where there's hope, there's always light, clicked seamlessly into place. In that moment, the air between them crackled with a realization almost too profound for words. My father had these made, Mr. Reynolds began, his voice thick, one for me and one for my sister. A mix of shock and understanding washed over Amelia. It couldn't be a coincidence. Your sister, she began, her voice barely a whisper. Mr. Reynolds nodded, tears welling in his eyes. My sister was your mother? The revelation hit Amelia like a wave, washing away years of unspoken questions, of a longing for something she didn't even know she was missing. Suddenly, the ring on her finger felt heavier, with the weight of a family history she was only now beginning to grasp. Mr. Reynolds, not one for emotional displays, blinked back tears as he shared stories of his sister, the young woman whose spirit Amelia embodied without ever knowing the connection. His voice cracked with a mix of joy and regret of finding his niece, but years too late to reconnect with the sister he had lost. He explained that tragic circumstances had shaken his family, leaving the siblings orphaned without any support. The records of those times were muddled, and he and his sister had been sent to separate foster homes. Despite his relentless efforts throughout the years, his search for her had always proved fruitless. The documents had been lost in bureaucratic tangles, making reconnection seem impossible. Amelia listened intently, and in turn, shared memories of her mother, her quiet strength, her skill as a seamstress, and the love she had for the daughter she'd raised. Pictures on her phone brought those stories to life, and with each image, Mr. Reynolds's eyes lit up, recognizing his lost sister in the smile and spirit of his niece. The shared inscription on their rings, once a source of quiet solace, now held a power neither of them could have foreseen. The rest of the day passed in a whirlwind. The job interview faded into the background. What mattered was the unexpected, life-altering discovery of family. Uncle and niece spent hours poring over photographs, bridging the gap between the past and present. There was a shared sense of mourning for lost opportunities, but woven through it was the profound joy of a connection found. Mr. Reynolds insisted on sharing stories of his own life, his wife, the bedrock of his world, and the two children they'd raised. He pulled out his phone, eyes sparkling with pride as he showed Amelia pictures of his sons and spoke with a mix of gruffness and deep affection of their exploits. In that moment, the possibility of cousins, of belonging to a larger, boisterous family, filled Amelia with a sense of hope that transcended her recent loss. They'd love you, Mr. Reynolds said simply, a statement that made her heart swell. Over the following weeks, as Amelia settled into her new job and a blossoming relationship with Mr. Reynolds, she couldn't shake the feeling that this was meant to be. The rings passed down from her grandfather, once symbols of an unknown longing, had led her towards a family she never knew existed. They were a reminder that even amidst the twists and turns of life, extraordinary gifts could be found. If you only knew where to look. And for Amelia, amidst a world that suddenly felt less lonely, the rings on their fingers whispered a promise. Where there's hope, there's always light. Loved this story? Tap that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. Let us know how this story made you feel with a single word in the comments. While you're at it, check out the video currently on your screen. See you next time.